So I get asked the question a lot, what is my case worth? Um, and, and really the answer uh, as to what a case is worth is what the jury says it's worth. Um, and insurance companies have uh, created these um, formulas that they think um, determines what the value of a case should be. Um, and I, I can tell you, when I started practicing law, the, uh, the, the formula was that uh, the cases were worth uh, three and a half times the uh, total of the medical expenses and one and a half times their lost wages, and that's the value that they put on the case. Um, the interesting thing about that is those numbers have changed dramatically since then, so that uh, now it's two times medical expenses and maybe uh, one time wages. Uh, but what we're left with is we're left with judges who think that that's the way that a case should be evaluated. And what I find interesting about that is that, um, you know, when you know someone who's been involved in an accident and you hear that it's serious and you know that they have a um, uh, catastrophic injury, the one thing you never ask is, gee, I wonder how much their medical expenses are. Or, or would you wouldn't even consider using that as some measure of what their damages are. So we have to deal in that environment all the time. And so what we say is, you know, the case, the, the case is worth what the jury says that the case is worth. And it's our job to, to communicate to the jury what the case is worth by showing the jury what uh, has happened to, the, uh, to our client, uh, how their life has been affected by it, and let them make the determination. Now the problem is that that's also against a backdrop of, um, of tort reform. And so uh, for about the last 15 or 20 years, insurance companies have been poisoning uh, the jury pool by convincing them that uh, if they give uh, big awards that their insurance rates are gonna go up or uh, doctors will leave the uh, practice of medicine and they won't have access to uh, quality uh, medical care or any number of other things. When in fact, what's really, what really is the case is that if you look at the top insurance companies in this country and if you look at the people who write automobile insurance in this country and the people who advertise on television the most, their profits exceed over a million, over a billion dollars a year. They're more than $250 million a quarter. And so really what's happening is if anybody is getting ripped off, it's the, uh, it's the American public who is, uh, who is being convinced that, uh, that the frauds are people who get hurt at the negligence of others. Uh, when in fact the, uh, the outrageous uh, amounts of money uh, are being made by the insurance companies. So uh, I know that's a little different than we talked about, but, um, but that's what I say.